In this video, I'm going to show you the brand new version 2 of the Azon Keyword Generator, which is part of the AmaSuite software programs. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is just talk about some of the new additions I put into the software. There's also another video just located under the one you're watching right now, which will show you some of the features of the software from the previous version, which are basically the same, except I added a few extra stuff. So what I've done here basically, the first thing I did is I changed the interface. So the graphical user interface, which is what you see here called a GUI, is uh, updated. Looks, so it looks a lot nicer now, a lot more clean. And you can see that you can actually resize the software now. Before you couldn't do that. So I, I put that ability into the software. And I've moved the controls. There was a couple of buttons down here for the, uh, you know, get the keywords and also abort button. And I put those controls up into this taskbar up here. So all the buttons are up here. And I left some of the buttons down here as well. So again, what this software does, it extracts the keywords from the Amazon website. And what the, the major change I've done here is I've added the ability for this software to also extract keywords from the UK Amazon site, which is one of the uh, things that you guys really wanted. All the customers really wanted the ability for the software to search Amazon.com as well as the UK site. So that's the, the new addition. And I also added another button down here to go to GoDaddy. So let me just give you an example of what this does. And if you haven't watched the other video just below this, I'll quickly explain how this software gets the keywords. So let's just start with an example. Let's say iPad. And I go ahead and you click the start button up here to get the keywords. And just like before, it's very, very fast. It should get two, three hundred. Well, it looks like 300 keywords it got from the Amazon.com website. Now, how does it do that? I just want to il illustrate exactly how it's done here. So if you go to Amazon.com and what you do, you see here I put the search term iPad. That's the basically the seed keyword. So if you come to Amazon.com and if you type in the word iPad, you'll notice these suggested keywords that come down in this little drop down area right here. Now these suggested keywords, what this is Actually, this is where the software is getting the keywords from, just so you know that. But what are these keywords? Like, what does this mean? This means that the very next word that customers enter into this search engine is iPad in electronics. That, that's what Amazon is telling us. That's the next most popular keyword after the word iPad. If you put a space and you like, and, and if you put the letter A, you get a whole new set of keywords that associate with the very next word that is most popular on the Amazon website that people enter into the search term. And that, <clears throat> excuse me, I lost my breath there. And basically what my software does, or what I'm doing here in the software is I just add a space and I append the alphabet one letter at a time and I collect those keywords and that's where the keywords are coming from. So if you put a letter A, you get a bunch of keywords there and then the letter B and then C and then go all the way down to Z the software even goes through the numbers, so zero, and you'll put one. And sometimes there are no keywords. And if I go like that, you see no keywords actually come down in the suggested box. So if no keywords are available, then of course the keyword generator will simply won't get any keywords because they're just not there. So that's how it works for the low volume. You see here this little uh, scrub bar here. You can go low, medium, or high. That's just the volume of keywords and when you go to medium, it uses a different algorithm to get the keywords. So for medium, it's just a little bit different. It just adds one more element here. And what it's doing, it's adding two letters from the alphabet. And it goes in sequence, same as before. So for example, it starts at AA, and then it goes AB, AC, AD, and so on. And then when it gets all the way down to Z, it'll go back to B, then A, C, D, B, E, that, that kind of thing. That's all it's doing. So you're just doing two letters in succession alternating through the alphabet. So you're getting basically twice the amount of keywords, possible keywords. Of course, they may not come up for certain combinations, but if they do, you get the keywords. And what's cool about this software too, you only get the unique keywords. Meaning that, um, like for example, iPad 2, just that one keyword, that won't show up again in here just by itself. These are all unique. So that's pretty cool. And the high volume is a lot more comprehensive. Basically, it's just going through the list. 
and taking this keyword and appending it to the main one and going through. It's a little bit complicated, but basically it just takes a long time to extract the keywords in high volume. It can take up to a long time. Just to give you an idea, I did a search in the background for iPad on the high volume. So if I just clear this out here, and I can show you these are the ones I extracted. It extracted just uh, 6,678, about 77 keywords from for the word iPad on Amazon.com on the high volume. So you can see the amount of keywords it can extract is a lot. See all those keywords there. And so we could do the exact same thing. So if I go clear here, let's do a little test. Let's go back to low volume and we can go start. Whoop, looks like it. A little bit of a problem there. Don't worry if there's any problems in the software, I'll definitely have that all sorted out before you actually get to download and install it. But let's go ahead and do it again here. Let's go like this. I just want to quickly go through the Amazon.com. Then you can go straight to Amazon the .co.uk and do it again. And you'll see it's adding a few extra ones. Remember, only unique keywords come in here. So by doing that, we got an extra 100 keywords that we could use. Pretty cool. And just like before, you can um, you could save these keywords, but there used to be a save button down here. Now I've moved it up here. So you can save it as a text file or as a comma delimited file that you can open up in any spreadsheet program. Sorry, Word, actually, yeah, spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel or uh, the uh, Open Office Calc program the one you can get openoffice.org.com so it's like a spreadsheet sort of thing and now so you can go ahead and use uh, that that save feature to save those if you like just like before and we've also added the uh, a little button here to our new Facebook page so you can go ahead and click that and uh, as long as we have our Facebook page alive on the internet then we'll definitely have this button up here so you can go ahead and check it out and um, participate in any conversations you know or whatever and take a look at different things we're doing in our company that's pretty cool so let me go ahead and explain um, an example of how you could use this software to uh, basically you know, make some money as an affiliate with the Amazon affiliate program. One thing that people like to do is to use these keywords to find possible domains so that you can you know, put a blog on it and uh, start promoting related products, say for example iPad. So let's say you're going to do this. What you want to do here is you select and you copy all these keywords by click, uh, clicking the copy button. That simply just takes all these keywords and copies it to your Windows clipboard. Now, what is a clipboard? If you don't know what a clipboard is, it just, uh, it's just sort of like a little spa a little thing in, in the background on Windows. You never see it, and it just saves things that you copy, you know, like right-click and copy. Now, it's copied on your clipboard. Whenever you paste it anywhere, for example, in a text file like this, if you go right-click and paste, there's the stuff that came from the clipboard. Anyhow, so you click the copy button, copy to clipboard, and then click this button here. It takes you over to Google's free keyword tool. And I suggest that if you have a Google AdWords account, which is free, you can go sign up, anyone can. And uh, if, you, if you get a free account, then this tool will basically unlock and give you the ability to search like, I think like a couple thousand keywords at a time or something like that. Or basically, not, not search, but what it does, is it sort of returns the uh, search volume of these keywords. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you don't, if you just use the free version here, you can only do 100 keywords at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and sign in here. Just take me a moment. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste in here. <clears throat> I'm going to change the location to the US. United States. Let's do a match type of exact. And one thing I like doing usually is I'll put over here, I'll put a thousand for, uh, I want a minimum of a thousand monthly searches. That's sort of the normal thing you do for uh, uh, looking for popular keywords that you can possibly make money with. That's not exactly written in stone, but it's just a guideline that I like to use and a lot of people do. And now we have the search volumes for all of those keywords that we got out of the software. So here's the idea. What you want to do is go ahead and you can search by local monthly searches or sort by local monthly searches and you can take a look at the top keyword like look at this iPad 3 this exact match keyword has been searched 800,000 times in uh, 
last month so or per month so that's that's quite a bit you can see iPod touch i iPad 2 nano accessories iPad 2 case so all these things are really um, have high volume of keywords so what you want to do now <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and save let's say this list of keywords or you see they actually group them they group them in different uh, uh, keywords like like this so what we could do here let's just go ahead and remove that grouping if it allows you here to ungroup it oh yeah there it is go cool. keyword ideas ideas that was the ad group group ideas beta some new thing there I'm just gonna save all of these I'm oh, sorry, no, download. Download all search results. There's 599 of them. And I'll save it to Excel. Then I'll just go ahead and save this to my computer. Then on one of my hard drives here, I'm just going to go ahead and just create a, a temporary folder. This is called Amazon. We'll save it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that folder there where we downloaded it and I'm just going to go and open this file up and you can see in Excel of course you don't have to be using Excel you can be using um, something else if you'd like like uh, the open office and you can see all the keywords in here but actually the thing that I want to see right now I want to know I, I just want the keywords. I don't want these round, these, these square brackets around it. So it's kind of a pain in the butt to manually remove all those square brackets. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm just going to go and go to back to broad match, just because I don't want those brackets around there right now. Because I want to go ahead and search these for these possible um, keywords as domains at GoDaddy and see if I can find one that I can grab that's fairly inexpensive that has high volume of searches. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do that again. I'm just going to go ahead and download all the results to the same place again. And I'm going to go ahead and get that latest one. And There's all the keywords. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to take all these keywords, just grab them all here, holding down the shift key on my keyboard right click and I'm gonna go uh, copy now I have all those keywords copied to the clipboard and if I go back to the software you'll see I added a new button that goes to GoDaddy so if I click that it's gonna go on over to GoDaddy.com and you'll see if you go domains and then go to bulk domain registration and then in here you can put up to 500 domains or 500 keywords. So I'm just going to go and right click and paste all those keywords in there. I think there's more than 500, I believe, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just select the different um, TLDs. I'm just going to go with .com, uh, say .info, .net, .org, hit go. It looks like there's some invalid characters in there. You can only do enter more than 500. So Obviously, I'd have to play around with uh, getting rid of some characters in here. It's probably like a plus sign or something in there, so it's not perfect. So let's just take a bunch out of there and try again. Still have more than 500. Still have more than 500. So <laughs> there must be a lot in there. Let's go back here and let's just take the first, say, uh, first bit here, control C, right click, and copy is the same as control C on your keyboard. Now let's go back here, control A to select all, hit the delete key on my keyboard, right click and paste, hit go. And that there should give me an idea. So what I did, I just selected all the highest traffic keywords from that list. And the idea is I want to find a domain name that will match that keyword, then I go get it because I know it already has a lot of searches. That's one trick to do with, uh, it's just basic SEO stuff that a lot of Amazon affiliate experts do all the time. It looks like we're still waiting, so I'll just pause the video here, it might take a bit. Okay, I had to pause the video there, and I, uh, if you recall, we tried putting in about 400 keywords. That failed for some reason. Some weird error happened up on their site. I'm not sure if it was on my end or their end, but anyhow, 
I went in and just uh, put in 200 keywords, the top 223 uh, keywords with the highest traffic. And you can see here, it shows all the unavailable domain names, meaning those are the ones already purchased. And they come down here and it can show my selected domain names. And it gives you an idea of the ones that I can get. And so that's a cool thing. See, what you can do now, let's say you wanted to uh, select all of these ones, you can get these, we know that um, these keywords in these domains get high volume of searches because that's what Google told us. You can see here all these keywords that I put in there are getting, uh, you know, half a million searches, you know, 800, actually no, that's like 5 million searches, 800,000 searches. Uh, these are broad match though, so obviously it's going to have more than just exact match, but you get the idea. This gives you a quick way of just finding some uh, some domain names that you could use. So this is basically how the uh, Amazon Super Affiliates are doing it, to go and get those domain names that have vol high volume of searches and are using tools like this. And this tool gives you a big advantage because you got to think all the other Amazon affiliates out there, they're using just regular tools that everyone's using, like for example the Google Keyword Tool, meaning they go there and they type in iPad and get all those keywords. Well guess what, you have this secret tool, so you put iPad in here and you're getting the keywords from Amazon, not from Google. That's really important because when people go to Amazon, they're already conditioned when they're there. Meaning, what do you do on Amazon? You don't go there to look for information. You go there to buy something. So you're already in the buying mode. Your mindset is completely different on Amazon than it is on Google. When you're on Google, you're looking for information, not l looking for something to buy. But that's not true, but not all the time. In the majority of the time, you're usually there looking for some information. You're not there to buy something. You're on Amazon to find something cheap to buy usually that's what Amazon is for it's a marketplace so the idea is you want to be getting those marketplace keywords and use those to uh, <clears throat> build websites around build uh, affiliate sites around to get to build sales because people that are going to Google to search for something most likely have already been the Amazon search in there too so it's just a way of getting better keywords for your Amazon marketing so that's basically all the changes that I've really done here. I did change some of the icons up here, the images, but that's the same. Um, this cool button is the same as before. It just goes to the resources page. And uh, like before, you can go to the help videos or the membership login area. So you can go ahead and log in. And I'll be um, putting these help videos in the membership area as well. But they're also accessible from here. I think that's it. That's about everything I've done here. That's all the updates I've done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.